Iya. 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 What's up guys, so we are at Stacy's house. We are going to have a small interview with her and then we will go to her shop. Let's go see, let's go meet her. Is it always a dream to be a tattoo artist or did you want it to be something else when you were a kid? Um, I mean, I always wanted to be an artist, but tattooing didn't really, it wasn't popular yet when I was younger to think, oh, that's something that people do. Okay. So it happened probably later on when it became kind of more of the cool thing in like the 2000s when people were getting like tribal and piercings. And why did you decide to become a tattoo artist? Um, I was always interested once tattooing kind of came to the forefront and stuff. I was always getting the magazines and everything. I kind of fell into it really because um, when I was thinking about it, you know, in my 20s, I was already working full time and paying bills and stuff and it wasn't common for females. Mm -hmm. And you heard some horror stories about trying to start off as a female. So it was kind of in my 30s offered to me by my boss because he knew I was an artist and needed reliable people. So. Um, it kind of just became a reality. So how do you become a tattoo artist? Because uh, I'm sure you don't start right away to draw on people. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have an apprenticeship and that's pretty much based off of what, you know, your mentor decides, you know, how long. A lot of people will spend at least two years in a shop, kind of just watching, learning cross-contamination, you know, cleaning up after your mentors and um, before you even pick up a machine. A lot of drawing over and over and over again. How is it like the first time that you your, your mentor is telling you, hey, you are going to do your first tattoo today. It's scary. It's scary? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of times, you know, your first tattoo is on yourself. However, I lucked out and did my first tattoo on my husband, who was already covered. Okay. So it was like, if it looks like crap, we can just hide it with the other ones and not <laughs> point it out. It took, it took forever to do the smallest little outline on him. Um, do you ever... Um, feel pressured when you, you do a tattoo on somebody, like if you missed it or something like that? I've never had like a full on oops moment on okay. anybody, Okay. but you're always your own worst critic. So no matter what, if you ask, you know, a tattooist for their honest opinion on how they felt like a certain piece, a lot of times they'll be like, well, I really like it, but could have done this, but you know, other people don't notice it, but. What is the... Uh, most surprising element you discover working with people as a tattoo artist? They'll tell you anything. <laughs> I've, I've had complete strangers tell me the strangest things about themselves because I don't know if they think it helps the tattoo when it has nothing to do with their tattoo though. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's weird. I think it's because of those TV shows where they feel like they have to tell you their story because otherwise it would be a boring show. But mm -hmm. the rest of us are like, Upward. What would you say is the most important thing for other aspiring tattoo artists to know? Um, I think there's two things that are kind of completely different. The main thing is it is a lot of work, like I said. Um, draw. You have to draw. It's mm. not tracing like some people think it is. and. Now with internet and Google and Pinterest, um, people see other things and come up with their own ideas. It used to be when any pick something off of a wall. Some people still do that, but it's less common. So it's not just taking something from a book and tracing it. It's a lot of extra work beyond that. So drawing a lot. And it's going to be a lot of work, a lot of self-promotion. The other thing is, 
don't buy a kit off of Amazon and just start tattooing your friends and bring them into the shop and be like, look what I can do, because it's not good. <laughs> it's not a good thing. It just go to a shop, ask questions, you know, start in a shop. As a customer, what should I look for? What should I ask to make sure that I choose the correct tattoo artist for me? The main thing is if there's something like, you know, a specialty you're looking for, is to search for the type of images. Um, for things like text, you just kind of want to know that the person's been doing it for a while. Um, you know, feel free to ask about sterilization techniques, how long people have been doing it, how long the shop's been there. It's also best to ask other people that have a lot of tattoos where they go to a lot, because obviously you can see how they look later and healed and stuff. Um, yeah, the main things you want to know is, you know, are they trained in cross-contamination, sterilization techniques, um, that they change things out in between tattoos. I had a girl be like, it's kind of a stupid question, but I've heard of people recycling the ink, and we all were like, oh, no! <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. I feel like good. Okay. <laughs>